What's going on guys? In the last video I talked about how today I was supposed to meet with my thesis advisor so that we could talk about where I'm at with my thesis and show them what I've written so far as far as my actual paper goes. And that's exactly what happened. So I met with my thesis advisor, got some constructive criticism about what I have so far. Uh, keep in mind that I really didn't have too much to show today because I really just had some appendix stuff and then my introduction. But the feedback that he gave me for my introduction was good. If you can hear a difference in the audio quality now, it's because I just plugged in my microphone. Totally forgot to do that. But the reason the feedback was good was because he pointed out some misconceptions I had about what I was doing, which is definitely good to get out of the way now before I actually have to present this stuff in two weeks. For example, one of the things is uh, when you're expressing the triple differential cross-section, you're talking about it with respect to the uh, solid angle of both outgoing particles as well as the energy of the slow outgoing particle. I sort of thought that that was how the experiments went as well when, when in reality you're making measurements on all of them. So I thought that you were using conservation of momentum to make an argument as to what the other energy has to be. And my professor said, no, you measure all of it. This is just how you describe it. So, um, so that was a good little thing to clear up. Part of the appendix where I do all of my derivations, I had a little section in bold that says do full derivation later. Because some of the derivations aren't 100% used and they're not something that I came up with myself at first, I don't know if it was worth going into in the thesis. And my professor said, it's good that you wrote that and you reminded yourself because you should always include the full derivation. I guess in a more theoretical paper, that sort of makes sense. Now what he also said was that he wants to meet again on Thursday. And what he wants to meet for is he wants me to make more progress on my paper, come back with more than just the introduction and the appendices, and start having an actual body. What I was doing so far, what my results have been, and how we're changing what I've been doing to fit positron scattering. Ideally, he wants me to be pretty much completely done with my thesis by next Tuesday. And when I first heard that, I was like, What? But then he, he sort of told me, he said, uh, the code that I've written generalizes more readily to what we're trying to fit it to more than I thought that it would. It can handle more than I'm giving it. So we're just going to change a few things, start calculating the right thing that my thesis actually pertains to, write it all up in, my, uh, in LaTeX, and then I'll be done. If I can get all of the thesis and like the thesis work and then the thesis writing done by next week, that'll give me about a week to prepare my presentation, uh, which sounds about right because it's going to be like 15 pages of physics that I'm going to have to compress into you know like a 10 minute PowerPoint slide, and that's going to take some time. That's going to take some time to learn how to explain it in a way that a lot of people can understand and just be able to cut out the stuff that doesn't really matter. And this is because a lot of people have a tendency to, including myself, a lot of people have a tendency to want to talk about all of the ways that didn't work. Like say, oh, I was writing this code to solve this, and then I ran into this problem, then I thought I fixed it with this, and then keep going and talk about that. But that's less important in the paper. They want to see the way that worked, and then if they have questions after about how you got to that, that's fine. But that's, that always takes some practice, is to not have to brag about how you solved one problem after another. Tomorrow, uh, I only have one class tomorrow, so I should be able to focus a lot of my time into actually writing the thesis. So I'm assuming that tomorrow's video I might be able to better articulate how I'm formatting the entire thing, chapter by chapter. Not necessarily showing you its content, but uh, just how really I'm going about writing a senior thesis. So that'll be fun. I'm looking forward to making that video. So it's nice for this to start winding down slash up a little bit, if that makes any sense. Winding down in the sense that I'm starting to understand and make all the progress I need to. Winding up in that it's sort of the climax part. But that's going to give me more time to start focusing on finals, which are coming up. Have any of you started studying for finals yet? Is it at that point for you at all? Let me know in the comments. I'll see you guys there.